Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my Polish Pickup Haul for September 2020. The theme was Halloween, and you already know I went crazy because I love Halloween polishes. So I ended up buying 16 polishes. Now I know that's a lot, but last year I had PPU regrets when I didn't buy certain Halloween polishes, and I didn't want that to happen again this year. So yeah, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. But anyway, let's get started. So the first polish is from Sassy Cat's Lacquer and it's called the Grady Kittens. And it was inspired by this adorable image of these two little cute twin kittens. Now, does the name Grady sound familiar to you? Well, if you're a horror movie fan like I am, then you know the Grady's were actually those twin girls from the classic horror movie, The Shining. And I remember the first time I saw them, they scared me so bad that I couldn't get to sleep for a week. So I'll take those cute little kittens over these girls any day. So this polish is an indigo cream with Aurora Shimmer, shifting from blue, gold, pink, purple, and extreme glowy purple shimmer. It really is gorgeous, and I'm so glad that I bought it and I love the way it glows in the natural light. The next polish is from Kathleen and Company and it's called Under a Haunted Moon and it was inspired by a sweet haunted house illustration. Now I'm not sure what illustration they use, but I found this one and I like the way it looked. So this beautiful polish is a neon purple jelly base loaded with color shifting Aurora shimmer and matching color shifting iridescent flakies. It is so pretty y'all. Okay, my next polish is from Whatcha, and it's called Smiley Jack, and it was inspired by Jack O'Lantern wallpaper. Now this is such a gorgeous polish. It has a black jelly base, and it has lots of red, copper, gold, and green crystal flakies. It definitely gives off Halloween vibes. And look at how beautiful it is in the natural light. Those flakies are so pretty. Okay, this next polish is from Esmaltes de Kelly and it's called Beetlejuice. And of course it was inspired by that cute little horror comedy movie, Beetlejuice. I saw that movie many, many years ago and I just thought it was adorable. And this polish is adorable. It's basically your glitter bomb. It's very pretty, very girly. It's really, really cute. Next up, we have Ethereal Lacquers, What's Your Favorite Scary Movie? Inspired by the cult horror classic, Scream. This polish is absolutely stunning. It has a deep purple gray tinted base packed with holographic micro flakes and red green shifting shimmer. This polish is pretty enough to wear all year long. 
and it was so pretty in the natural light, I couldn't stop staring at my nails. Another polish that I couldn't stop staring at was the one from Polish for Days called Hitchhiking Ghosts, inspired by those adorable hitchhiking ghosts in the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. This stunning polish has a teal base with a glowy aqua to purple shifting iridescent micro flake shimmer. And that shimmer is so pretty. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with a polish for days polish. They usually knock it out the park every time. The next polish is from Moonshine Manny and it's called Death Becomes Her and it was inspired by that hit film Death Becomes Her which I've seen many times and I think it is absolutely hilarious. And do you all see how beautiful this polish is? It is a blood red jelly packed with flakies and glitters shifting from red to orange to yellow and green. It is gorgeous. And I thought it looked absolutely stunning in the natural light with my skin tone. The next polish is from What Addiction and it's called Blood Moon Rising. And it was inspired by an orange pink spooky house. Y'all, I am so glad I got this polish because originally when I tried to get it, it was sold out and I was so sad. But the creator of the polish added some more bottles and I was able to get my hand on one. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did because it is beautiful. It's an orange scattered hollow jelly with aurora shimmer and dark purple flakes. Next up, we have Rogue Lacquer's Something Strange, and this was inspired by one of my favorite movies, the cult comedy classic Ghostbusters. So I'm already a fan of neon polishes, and my second favorite color is green, and I also love blue polishes, so this was a no-brainer. You get the best of both worlds. This is a vibrant neon green with bright blue metallic micro flakes. And it's really pretty. Okay, the next polish is from Sweet and Sour Lacquer and it's called Crib Keeper. And it was inspired by that adorable, fugly little host from the hit TV show from back in the day, Tales from the Crypt. I used to love that show. So this is a deep red burgundy crelly filled with blue aurora shimmer and iridescent flakies. It's really pretty.
The next polish is by Red Eye Lacquer and it's called The Gate and it was inspired by the show Stranger Things. Now this is supposed to be a thermal polish but for some reason it just didn't really transition on my nails. But I still love the polish anyway, it's a beautiful color. This is a dark brown to red orange thermal with gunmetal micro flakies and gold to green to yellow orange shifting flakies. It is gorgeous and I think it is a perfect polish for fall. Look at how beautiful it looks in the natural sunlight. I love this polish. The next polish is from Sassy Sauce Polish and it's called Jeepers Creepers and it was inspired by the cover of the movie Jeepers Creepers which I finally saw a couple of years ago and it wasn't too scary. It was a cute little horror movie. And there's nothing scary about this polish. It is a black jelly base loaded with red to gold to green shifting shimmer and purple to red to golden shifting ghost flakies. It is stunning. Next up is Moon Spells by Penelope Luce, and it was inspired by Moon Spells on Halloween night. Oh my goodness y'all, this polish is so pretty. It is a dark blue base with purple, turquoise, and orange iridescent flakies, and the same color glitters for shine. It is so freaking pretty. And once I saw it in the natural sunlight, I was mesmerized. Next up, we have Night Owl Lacquers let your fears take flight and it was inspired by a spooky image of the night sky with bats and a jack-o-lantern on Halloween. Now I'm not sure what image they use but I found one that I thought was appropriate for this polish. Now I am a big fan of night owl lacquer and this polish did not disappoint. This is a dark gray crelly filled with orange to bronze to gold to green and aqua green crystal flakes with a sprinkle of hollow dust. It's really quite beautiful. Next up we have The Big Boo by Polish and it was inspired by that character The Big Boo from Super Mario World. Now Polish is another brand that doesn't disappoint. This is a super sparkly holographic indigo base packed with electric blue flakes and micro shimmer. It is so pretty y'all. And it was super sparkly in the bottle and it was equally as sparkly on the nails. And the last polish I bought was from Nail Hoot and it's called Attack of the Holographic Bats and it was inspired by bats. And 
and I think this is just an adorable Halloween topper. And this features a heavy dose of hollow pigments, including bat-shaped glitter swimming in a clear base. And they do appear to be swimming inside that bottle or flying. They really are adorable and I'm so glad I got this topper. I mean, think about it. You can't have Halloween without bats. So that's it guys, and there were more polishes that I wanted, but I had bills to pay, and I need to stay married. I mean, it's getting harder and harder to hide all these polishes that are coming in. I mean, they're in the closets, they're under the bed, they're in my drawers. It's getting hard to hide these from my husband. But anyway, October's theme was animation, and I think I only bought five polishes, so I did a lot better. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss another one of my uploads. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.